Hey everybody, it's Brian. Okay, so we are moving right along with our first options class being put into the set of libraries here. So what I'm about to show you is stupid easy and uh, you know what, I'm just gonna get to it. Okay, this is our options class I've just created. Um, so we're just doing a simple, simple little calculation, intrinsic value. I'm trying to just <coughs> segregate all the programming logic into separate classes or libraries, whatever you want to call them, so that we can have the trading logic in one and have the calculations or algorithms or equations in a separate one. And of course you can tell I will be segregating them out by asset class. So we've got options and futures. So hopefully you've seen some of my future ones. This is going to get very vast, this one, um, over the next uh, little while. This one's going to get big as well, and I'm going to show you why. So this is a simple source code. We just do calculating intrinsic value, difference between passing double of a future and the strike price. Okay, in there we also have to create our header file right here. Uh, with the same argument or what they call signature and here in the main this is to test it this is the segregate where our, kind of like a demonstration of how our trading logic will uh, call it and all we're doing is just calling the intrinsic value of uh, our two parameters that we're sending of 35 price of a future with a 25 strike and we can expect back an answer of 10 all right, so at the top here in our main, we got lots of main uh, logic being tested, but these are the new additions. I have also have to include my options header, and of course I have to instantiate the options uh, function, or sorry, the objects, um, uh, the objects, sorry, the options object. And at the end, that's what we have right here. Simple, simple, simple C++. Okay, let's run it. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, um, and you can tell we're running in VirtualBox, Virtual Machine. This is Linux with code like the IDE. So there you go. There's our wunderbar, complicated um, uh, options. Intrinsic value equals 10 bucks. Woo, aren't you excited? All right, so this is where we're going to build upon our... our uh, options, algorithms, calculations, whatever you want to call them. This one came from the video 18 of the UCS, uh, sorry, UC Davis course for the futures options. I'm not going to go on about that. This is one of the simple calculations we got that from. If you want more information, I've got in there also uh, Python equivalent. Um, but to be honest, I am moving, trying to move everything into C++ uh, for performance measures. All right, so the video I'm talking about from, from uh, UCS is this one right here. Uh, let me just pull it up in my browser. Let me do that in another browser. Okay. Yeesh. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's why. Good old Chrome. <laughs> uh, so here we go. This hedging risk versus return diversification and options from uh, my, if you do it, just a simple search of UC Davis uh, futures options, you'll get the playlist right here. Um, and again, as I said, so that's me, video um, uh, 18, this one right here. Okay, that's where that comes from. Okay, now let me show you the membership. All that simple code, of course, is available for my members. Um, so what we're referring to is this video right here where you'll find it. And if you come under here, uh, this will be all changing anyways. But uh, in my dashboard under a new section, we will eventually get there. We're referring to this one right here, options on futures, and uh, this is what it looks like. So 
uh, at the bottom here of this video, you will get access to that little uh, uh, zip file uh, with the Code Light project, as you can see here. Okay, and that includes the Futures algo here, uh, all that fun stuff, uh, plus all these headers and uh, C++ files. So that's how we're building it out. Um, also, as I said, there is Python equivalent. Uh, to me, I am preferring to go C++ now uh, for uh, reasons to be revealed later on. There's a walkthrough of the Python code here and that. Okay, so let me just show you some other um, options here, uh, code done in C++. If you come into my membership under the uh, academy here, when you create your membership for Quant Elite, you can do that right here and uh, join it. Very simple stuff, folks. Uh, just come under here and be an elite Quant now. Now, once you join, you come under the search site, you just do a CME search, and it'll reveal all these cool postings. But the ones you're more interested in is this one. Uh, options head, heading strategies, option head for selling commodities, option strategy for commodity buyers, and options for commodity sellers. Now, what are these involving? Well, uh, you can see here I've got code walkthroughs of each and every scenario for uh, what you're already getting or what I'm using already from within the UC Davis course. You can see here there's a pile of them and you can see there's little tar files that you can download and they're all done in Linux, uh, Ubuntu, uh, using the IDE C Lion, which is uh, free with a demo, but eventually I'll move them over to the code light, but you can easily do that on their own. But anyways, this is what they look like when you download these, uh, this file called CME Option Strats. You'll get all the source code uh, that's available uh, for, in this case, CME, Buy, call, sell, put. What does it look like? It's simple logic, folks. Um, similar to what I'm doing with lots of comments coming from this PDF right here uh, on the CME site. You can get that page right here. And we've got all the different scenarios already demoed. And I'm going to put the calculations in the libraries I've already just shown you here in the code light. So these new calculations uh, in my, uh, where's my sublime? There it is. So all these calculations that I'm showing you here will eventually make their way into the, um, into that library for options. And I'm gonna have a separate one for uh, futures as well. So there's gonna be a very vast set of algorithms um, for both futures and options for this, we'll call it fundamental trading system. And uh, as I said, to be determined later, what will be happening is these will be easily transitioned into much, much higher frequency like tick. Because I got some big plans for these uh, algorithms, um, but I need to segregate the code as best as I can to organize it. So just wanted to show you where we're going with the options code. Um, I'm gonna clean up the futures uh, and complete that library because uh, we're pretty close to uh, getting the C++ futures um, library done and uh, move on to the options and then complete the UC uh, Davis course uh, as I've shown earlier. Okay, so that's pretty well it. As I said, um, all the code that I'm showing here on my Quant Leap, uh, I have announced that uh, if you missed it, that all the code uh, that I'm demoing here is going to have a very limited shelf life for uh, a couple of months. So all of this will get eventually removed. So what am I referring to here? There's tons and tons of code we're talking about. This code, uh, 
will probably disappear once I complete all of these steps to be taught live to my current and upcoming and new Quant Elite members. As I've hinted, this will disappear, which is the equities pair trading code. This will all disappear um, come uh, in two weeks, actually, because we just did our second last webinar tonight on R squared and applied volatility. Next week is the last one. Kelly Criterion will stay up for one more week. And then July 12th is when we start moving into the futures and options. Um, and I'm working my way to demoing both the Python and C++ as I showed earlier. And all of this will disappear once we get to this point right here, the very last step. And all this code will disappear. All this code will disappear. And there's tons of it. Tons and tons and tons of it. Um, all this stuff will just, you can see, this is a massive list of .NET code, R samples, MATLAB samples. And why am I doing that? Because we're transitioning into a data analytics service where this stuff gets removed and new data analytics will be put up, posted probably daily. Uh, and uh, that's how we do that. And uh, all of that code or all those data um, reports will come from this exact code. Uh, and plus what I'm also building out moving forward. So that's a lot, um, but that's the introduction to our options, C++ library, and more to come.